Hello, yes, Nigel Farage must lead the fight back. That's right. At this very moment, we're now witnessing the Brexit betrayal, which many of us knew was coming anyway. But even more shameful with the so-called Brexiteers, hey, cabinet, who caved in under the threat of having to walk miles to the nearest train station, phoning a cab because their official cars were going to be taken from them forthwith. As soon as they disagreed with Theresa May, the cars were the official cars were going to be taken from them. And it was a long walk to the nearest train station or phone in a cab. Not summary execution or a jail sentence. That's what they were threatened with. And again, it shows if it needs to be the type of cowards that have been ruling over us. But this bunch of cowards and traitors like Theresa May are not unique. You can go back to Edward Eats or Margaret Thatcher. The history's littered with them, right? It's not unique. So, Mr Farage, you have to now lead the fight back. Let's rally a million people on the streets of London and let's show them we're not going to roll over and we're not going to tolerate this. We want Brexit delivered. What 17.4 million people voted for. We can't allow these traitors and swines and cowards to get away with what they're doing. Right? We were riding high with Brexit. We were pulling our country out of the European Union, but it looks as if it's getting dragged back in now. We're fighting for our very survival here. Trust me, we are. Because the EU has bigger plans and eventually it's to dissolve what borders are left and also to disappear the nation state, the flags, the culture, history, everything has to go where will be one big European super state probably grown by the year where there's no history, no past. There's just a brave new world, catch words such as diversity and multiculturalism. Or what's the EU motto? United in diversity. Well, that's, that's our future and it's the death of Britain as we know it. So there has to be a fight back, Nigel Farage, and you have to lead it, right? Also, where the Brexit percentages were high around the country, when the chance arises, we need to field parliamentary candidates there. Where the Brexit uh, vote was high in whatever parts of Britain, we have to field candidates there parliamentary ones we've got to get a fox in the chicken coop right and chase this loss out because it's no good leaving them in power if brexit is delivered which it's not going to be it never was going to be theresa may signed up to the liberal leftist mindset and she knows what tune to dance to right so we need to get them out it's no good Brexit being honoured and leaving the same traitors, cowards and swine drooling over us. They have to go, Mr Farage. We have to now organise the Purple Revolution. Let's get it going. Let's get a million people on the streets of London. That's just the beginning. Just don't forget, you see how cowardly these people are. And their position is very precarious. We can topple this government. We can get them out right with the right planning the right leadership and a bit of balls and some guts, right, which they don't have. We do. Because if we don't, we're going to be finished. This is a make or break time for us and our country. Okay, thank you. We're counting on you, Nigel Farage.